fun to not go to jail. I, I understand that. I'm pretty sure everybody would love to not go to jail, okay? But, all right, I'm being super fair. To gamble. I'm being super fair and patient with you. This is the last time I'm asked. Okay, do you want to conduct standardized field sobriety tests? Yes or no? Hey, so I'm Deputy Predel. Um, I've been to the Charleston County Sheriff's Office a little over three years. I've been law enforcement officer just under seven years total. So we're gonna wait, canines on the way. So we're gonna wait uh, until they get here so we don't spoil a potential track. Um, but he did try to kick in a door of a residence down the road. So we're just gonna wait for canine and, and uh, establish a perimeter. Hair one needle. Sheriff's office. Sheriff's office. Okay. I got this. Yeah, we just found him. Where is he? He went that right way. Right in that house. We've been yelling at him. My granddaughter was out here riding. That's why I just hate it. Oh, he yeah, went straight across through there. I got this. Yeah, there's a, they, they tried kicking someone's door in down the street. Okay. Yeah. And they're armed. Straight over there. Okay, we, we appreciate it. Sorry yeah. about we're that. We're not, yeah, we're not trespassing. We're just trying to track this guy. Hey, I don't, I don't, I don't mind y'all coming. Yeah. Thank you. What was the description? Well, it's dark there though. There's a couple people in the van. Hey, how y'all doing? Good, good, how you doing? Good, good, good. Good. Get out of the car, show me your hands, man. Huh? Get out of the car, show me your hands. Okay, good. Get out of the car, show me your hands. Okay. Keep your hands up. Huh? Keep your hands up. Right. Turn around. Okay. Back up towards Deputy Predal. Okay. Stop. Right. Here you go. Yep. Right. Stay right there. Right. You stay up there. Don't move. All right. Yeah, right, so you're not under arrest, yeah. you're just being detained right Stay now, okay? There. Don't move. Okay. What the hell did you do, bro? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, sir, so what, what exactly happened down there on Von Ocean? I turned the doorknob. I turned the doorknob, it was locked, so I left. Okay. You know, I, I, I knocked on the door, but no answer, so I turned the doorknob, and, and, and people drove up in the yard as soon as I came or oh, I came down the steps and they smiled at me when I left the yard. Okay. You know? Do you know do you know them that lived I there? I thought my wife lived there. You thought your wife yeah, lived there? Uh no my hero, so how do you um, not know where your wife lives? Well I mean uh I thought she might have got better. Uh she she uh she she got in a car accident that girl okay. in there. Okay. She got girl in there. Okay. She got in a car accident and lost her front teeth and got scarred all her arms. Okay. And went to uh uh, with the hospital. So the victim's cooperating that he had the knife One in of his the hands. Victims. So this is the guy that saw him run. Did they follow him in a truck? Yes. Okay, so that's because he's saying somebody followed him in a burgundy truck. So that's where that came in. And he admitted that he was there. He said he tried to listen into the door. He tried to handle the door handle, mm -hmm. uh, but he said it's because he thought that he knew someone that was there. He said his wife. He thought his wife lived there. But obviously, based on what they observed, you don't have your knife out unless you have the intent to obviously commit a crime. I think that's reasonable. Right. A reasonable person wouldn't have done that. Right. So I think that. It's, yeah, I think that his intent was to gain entry in the house, especially if he tried to knock first to see if anyone was going to mm -hmm. enter before trying to kick it. I think that obviously any reasonable, prudent person would believe 
he had a particularized and objective basis to burglarize the house. Correct. You know? Yep. So, and even though um, it wasn't completed, I think that his intent was obviously yeah. criminal in nature. So. Yep. Okay, so uh, North Area units got dispatched to Von Russian Road um, to an address in reference to a burglary in progress. Stated somebody tried the doorknob, was attempting to kick in the door, and also was armed with a knife. Um, we arrived on scene. The suspect had fled the area. Um, we set up a perimeter and called for canine assets. Canine arrived on scene and we conducted a track through the woods. Um, actually um, made contact with some pretty irate uh, individuals on their, their property, not knowing that we were law enforcement and yelling at us that they were gonna fight us and, and things like that. Um, once they realized it was law enforcement, they assisted us in the investigation and pointed us in the right direction. And we ended up locating and arresting the individual um, who admitted post Miranda uh, warnings that he had in fact tried the doorknob um, so and he did have the knife in question on his person so I was coming out 78 and they crossed um, from um, the apartment complex over there and um, almost like ran right out in front of me, almost caused a collision. I had to lock up to avoid a collision. I blew lighter them and then they just kept going all the way back here. There's a gun sitting in between um, both of them, just underneath the um, armrest, uh, which isn't illegal now. Uh, there's two open containers in plain view right there in the car, reeks of marijuana. He's obviously been drinking. Uh, the guy on the right here is the driver. So are you willing to conduct standardized field sobriety tests or not? Would conducting a standardized field sobriety test benefit me in any way? That's up to you to decide. I can't say yes or no. Is there any repercussions for denying field sobriety tests? Again, if you deny standardized field sobriety tests, I'm going to be forced to make a decision based on the evidence that I have so far. Based on the evidence so far, what would your decision be if I denied it? Uh, the evidence so far, um, I can't. I can't tell you yes or no. You need to just go ahead and say, do you want to do them yeah, or not? Yeah, the truck reeks. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, I, I understand there's evidence. Right. There. Uh, but the evidence that's there is that, dude, I can't run across the street. It, it, listen, I get it. Um, it doesn't I'm matter where right you came from. from home. So I, I'm gonna ask you one more time, okay? Do you want to conduct standardized field sobriety tests, yes or no? Man to man, do you believe that conducting It's a yes or no. It's a yes or no. To me. It's a yes or no. To me at all? I cannot tell you to the contrary. It's a yes or no. The, 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 what are the repercussions for saying? Listen, I'm giving you ample opportunity right now. I'm going to ask you one more time, and that's it, okay? Do you want to conduct standardized field sobriety tests, yes or no? Will I go to jail if I say no? Okay. It's a yes or no. I, I've already gave, given you my answer. If you say no, I'm going to be forced to make a decision based on the evidence that I've gathered thus far. Okay? In your personal opinion, do you think I can't give you a personal opinion. I would love to not go to jail. I, I understand that. I'm pretty sure everybody would love to not go to jail. Okay? But all right, I'm being super You're fair. Gamble. I'm being super fair and patient with you. This is the last time I'm asked. Okay, do you want to conduct standardized field sobriety tests? Yes or no? No, sir. No? Okay, go ahead and turn around. Yes, sir. No. Let's go ahead and stop right here against this wall. Okay, so this individual was uh, driving his pickup truck uh, across Highway 78, almost causing a collision with another deputy. That deputy conducted a traffic stop on the individual who failed to stop for a very short period of time to the back of the neighborhood. Upon making contact with the driver, um, he believed that the driver was impaired. So he called me to the scene. I offered him standardized field sobriety tests, which he refused. 
he was then placed under arrest for driving under the influence. Go blow right in there. there. Yeah, just blow into it. Subsequent a breath test here at the Alcannon Detention Center, he blew a .16 BAC, which is twice the legal limit. And then he was booked and lodged into the detention center.